Do you want to get your characters moving in Scratch with the keyboard and mouse? You found the right video. If you followed my last video, you've made your first game. Unfortunately, it's the world's worst game. Well, I don't want you to worry about that because adding movement to your character properly isn't as hard as you think. In this video, I'll show you multiple ways to do it. First with the keyboard quick and dirty, then with some proper control, and finally we'll finish with the mouse. All right, here we are in Scratch, new project ready to go. The very first thing I'm gonna show you is how to use the keyboard to move your cat around in a really simple way. Of course, I'm using the cat here to save time, but this works with any character. To start off, we're gonna to go to events. I'm gonna get out the second one, when space key press. And you might've guessed we're gonna change it from space bar to up arrow for the first time. Now we'll come to motion and we'll say point in direction 90. And very importantly, we're gonna hit the drop down and we're gonna change it to zero, which is up. And then we're gonna put in move 10 steps. Let's test this one. We do have what you might think is a bug, but we're gonna push on through and then we're gonna fix that problem. Fastest way to do this for all four directions is to right click and then go to duplicate. Now I can do the matching one for the down direction. Once again, test on the keyboard, is it working? It is, so let's duplicate a third time. And finally for the fourth direction. So we can see that already our cat is moving around exactly how we would like, apart from one thing, and that's that it changes direction and goes upside down. It seems like a bug, but it's actually a feature built into Scratch to give us more control. What we're gonna to do to fix this is come to the information button next to the sprite, and we're gonna change the rotation style to only face left and right. By default, it can rotate and face any direction. And point of interest for future reference is there's also a third option that forces it to only ever face the original direction, which for the cat is to the right. Let's close this and test our keyboard again. Okay, we can see our problem is fixed. The cat no longer goes upside down and we can move around and it might seem like our job is done. Unfortunately, there's a genuine problem with the way we've programmed this. Firstly, if you hold down a key, in this case, the left key, it's very jerky as it moves across the screen. Secondly, if I hold down a sideways key and then press the up key to try and do a diagonal, the up overrides the sideways and I can't actually go in a diagonal type of movement pattern. This is because we're at the mercy of the keyboard refresh rate. As we hold the key, all those little jerks is how often the keyboard is sending the signal to the computer and telling the character to move. Anytime we're doing continuous movement, we don't want to use this command to start off. Instead, we're going to do it a slightly different way. Let's go to events and get out a green flag and then go to control, take out a forever and inside put an if then. We can actually recycle our code from here and put it inside and delete the old one. But it's not gonna work at the moment because we have a block missing. The block that we need comes from sensing. It looks very similar to what we had. It's called key space pressed. So let's drag it out and place it in the slot. We're gonna change this to up arrow to match how the script used to be. And then let's hit the green flag and see if it's working. You'll notice instantly that it is highlighted in yellow, which means it's active. So my old one is still working for right, but now when I press up, I have much more smooth movement. Let's repeat this another three times. All right, we're ready to go. Common problem that people run into here is they start pressing the keyboard key to test it and nothing happens. They forget that we've changed our script to start with when green flag clicked. If we haven't clicked the green flag, everything underneath will not run. So let's do that now and test it out. Okay, I can go sideways, I can go up, I can go down, and now for the real test, I can go diagonally, and I can do so fairly smoothly. If you're wondering how to change the speed at which the cat moves, that's the amount of steps. A smaller number will make it move slower, and a higher number will make it move faster. But what of the mouse? Let's try a couple of different ways that might be useful for different games that you're creating. 
I'm going to start by going to events and once again starting with the green flag clicked. Now because we want this to run the whole time we're going to drag out a forever and our first option we're going to keep really simple and we're going to go to motion and we're going to find the one that says go to. Here it is, go to mouse pointer. Let's drag it in and hit the green flag. We can see here that there's a little bit of lag because I'm recording the screen, but basically the cat character follows the mouse wherever it goes. If you were going to have something like a crosshair, like in a first person shooter, this is exactly how you would achieve that. Let's say that I did in fact want a little bit of lag. I wanted to move my mouse and then have my character turn and walk in that direction on the screen. What we need to do is to delete this one and instead make it slightly more complicated. We're going to tell it to point in the direction of the mouse pointer and then we're going to tell it to move some steps. It's a good idea to make this a little bit smaller than usual for the first run. Let's hit the green flag and see how it works. Okay, you can see there's a nice amount of lag here. This might be really good for a game where the screen scrolls around and you want your character to move around and follow the mouse. Let's up the complexity just a little bit to suit that type of game. We're going to come to control and we're going to get out an if then. We're going to take our other scripts, put them inside, connect it back up. And now we're going to come to sensing and we're going to find mouse down. Let's put it in here and hit the green flag. Okay, you'll notice the cat no longer goes for us, but as soon as I put down the mouse, it starts to walk in that direction. So you could have a game where you only want it to move if they click a mouse button. All your other controls can be assigned to the keyboard so it doesn't clash. For instance, you might have another situation where you want the mouse to control where the character moves and then you'll have all of the other actions assigned to the keyboard. For instance, spacebar to make it shoot. That will work really well in this instance. Now we do have one last bug that we're going to fix and that's when the character arrives here it kind of goes a little bit crazy and doesn't know what to do because it's already on top of the mouse pointer but it's still trying to get there so let's fix that one to finish. What we're going to do is come to control and we're going to get another if then. You can actually nest these inside each other. We're going to put it around these two here. Now obviously there's something missing here. To get around that we're going to come to operators and we're going to get a greater than command going to pop it in there and finally we're going to come to sensing and we're going to find the one that says distance to mouse pointer. Let's put it in the left hand side and type in something like 10. Let's revise our script. We've told it when the game starts, what, as long as the game is running forever, if the mouse is down and the distance between the character and the mouse is greater than 10, then point towards it and start moving. That means if we're not clicking the mouse, it goes no further and if it means if it's less than 10 it's already on top of the cursor it's not going to go any further either so let's see if it works like we expect okay nothing at the moment until i put down the mouse I put down the mouse it starts moving i'm going to let it catch up and the script stops but as soon as i move away the character comes to follow excellent that's exactly what i'm after and that concludes our tutorial Hopefully these have helped you in your start to making some really good games. You'll be able to move your character with the keyboard as well as with the mouse in a variety of ways. Hopefully these simple tips has really given your Scratch project a huge boost. We've only decided with Scratch, so thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see the whole series. I'm going to work up to recreating games that are really popular and I'm going to show you every step of the way. G'day, it's Michael again. If you like the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.